So the first thing that I'm going to do is jump into the grass, the background actor. And I like to use a background actor often to kind of control attributes. You can use pretty much any prop in your scene to control certain attributes. So we'll double click on grass. You can see this actor has nothing going on. And we can create a rule. And the first rule that we're going to create is we're going to switch this over to key. We're going to click on our keyboard so that we can select the up key. So when we push the up arrow, what do we want to happen? And we're going to grab the change attribute behavior. And we're going to affect that first attribute that we created, which was the forward attribute. So what we want to do is we want to switch this attribute forward. Double click on that. What do we want to switch it to? And we're just going to type in the word forward. So we're going to repeat this for all of our attributes that we created. Remember, we created four. So I'll just click on this, hold the Alt key, drag and drop. We're going to switch this by clicking on the keyboard. We'll click the down. So when we press the down arrow key, what are we going to have happen? Well, we're going to then select the back attribute and we'll switch this over to back. So when I push the up key, switch the forward attribute to forward. So we're going to change it from none to forward. And when we press the down arrow key, we're going to switch the back attribute to back. And we'll just repeat this process for the next two. When we press the left arrow key, we are going to switch obviously the left attribute, double click on that, to left. One more time, I'll duplicate this, and we will switch, when we press the right arrow key, we should switch the attribute right to the word right. So essentially what we've done here is when we push our up, down, left, and right keys, we're going to switch those attributes that we just created you can see these attributes over here. Their default is set to none. The default text value is set to none. So then when we push the up key, the left key, the down key, and the right key, this none should change. And that's why we created these boxes down here, so we can actually see that update. If these boxes weren't here, and I previewed this, we wouldn't know what was going on, so we wouldn't know if we set things up correctly. But because we have these boxes, if I push the up key, I can right away see that that attribute changed the way I wanted it to. If I push the down key, the left key, and the right key, all of those things change. So I'm going to click the back arrow. And the one thing that I want to set up is I want, when I let go of the key, for that to change back to none. So I'm going to double click back on the grass. And we're just going to go through all of these rules. And now that we are building up quite a bit of rules here, this would be a good time to just kind of name things. It is a really good idea to always name everything that you're doing in Game Salad. So this first rule, I'm going to say drive forward, drive back, turn left, and then turn right. That way I immediately know what I'm working with with each one of these rules and then if I close them down like this I can see what I'm working with easily. So let's start with the drive forward rule. You notice that we set it up so that when we push the up key we're changing the attribute forward to forward. But we want when we let go of the key something to happen. So otherwise we will change the attribute forward back to none. So what did I do here? Basically, if I delete this, I just held the Alt key and I dragged and dropped this change attribute behavior down into the otherwise area. So basically, when the up key is pressed, change the forward attribute to forward. Otherwise, change the forward attribute back to none. So I'm just going to go through the rest of these like this. If you're a little bit lost at this point, don't worry. Just keep following along. 
once we start plugging these attributes into our tank, it's going to make a lot of sense as to why we're doing all of this. So let's go back to the drive backwards, open up the otherwise section, hold the Alt key, and I'm just going to grab the change attribute, and I'll switch this back to none. You can close these down to give me a little bit more room. Turn left, open otherwise, switch that back to none. Alt, drag and drop to copy that, and then we're going to switch this back to none. For those of you that understood everything I did, absolutely great. But for those of you that are a little bit lost, all I basically did was set up the commands that say when I push this key, change this attribute to forward. When I let go of the key, change this attribute back to none. So I should see all of that in our little display down here. So I'll push the up key, let go of the up key, and it switches back to none. The reason we did this, the reason we set up that otherwise, is if I just push the up key and then let go, if it didn't switch back to none, then our tank would essentially keep driving forever. And we want it to stop when we let go of the key. We don't want it to just continue on infinitely. And that's true with all these other attributes. When I push up, we should drive forward. When I let go, it should go back to none. When I push back, we should drive backwards. When I let go, none, left, right. So you can see this is how we've kind of turned all of these buttons, the up, left, down, and back, or right, I should say, into kind of on and off switches for all of these controls that we're creating here. So great. Now we have a whole bunch of text boxes changing, and that's not really useful. So what we want to do now is basically feed these inputs into the tank. And when we feed these inputs into the gun as well, then you'll understand why we're doing this method of setting up um, these attributes instead of just putting these rules directly into the tank and into the gun. It's it's a very easy way for us to get the tank and the gun to work together. So let's go ahead and plug this into our tank.